Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Kezia Tanesha and I'm a second year doing engineering in University of Oxford. Today, I'm back with a new video. Finally, after a few weeks of being inactive on YouTube, I'm so sorry because I've been so busy with my exams. But well, I'm back now and today's video will be about the academics in Oxford and how I prepare for my exam. It's gonna be so exciting and let's get right into it. First of all, I like to say that I noticed some people trying to guess my nationality in the comments and most of them are wrong. Um, I'm from Indonesia, I grew up there, I lived there and I got into Oxford after I finished my high school in Indonesia as well. So there you go. Anyways, this day was such a beautiful day, like look at the weather and the sky, so pretty. Uh, that statue over there always terrifies me. Oh, I woke up early this morning because I have library slots in my college. So I'm just walking back and look, that is the library over there. And this is called the Fellows Garden overlooking the Red Cam. We got our brunch from the hall and we went to the mount over here to get a nicer view before we go to our library slots. I'm so glad that I chose to go to Exeter College because just look at this beautiful view. And so after our brunch, oh, this is awkward. I thought we had library slots on that day, but apparently not. <laughs> we didn't have library slots, so we went back to the hall and this is where we usually eat and have our formal dinners. All of students in Exeter College are now allowed to study here and I think it's an amazing idea. Okay, now while I'm studying in the hall, I will start on explaining to you guys about the academics in Oxford. So it's kind of different from other universities. We have three terms per year instead of two semesters or two terms that other colleges might have. And each of our terms is only two months long. For my course engineering, we have eight lectures per week and one lecture lasts for one hour. The number of lectures is very few compared to other universities and I realized that. But that's the problem here because it gets very intense, especially because of the short terms and also the very, very small number of lectures. For each week, we have two papers that we need to submit and we also might have labs for five hours on one of the days. All of our assignments during the term is never recorded. They're all treated as practice. So our final scores in the end will only be consisted of the final exams at the end of the academic year and labs. So you can just imagine how nervous I was for the exams, especially because I didn't have any quizzes or mid exams before. Before I came to Oxford, I used to be that student who only studies before the quizzes or the exams, like right before or the night before. But after I came to Oxford, it all changed. I felt all the pressure and I noticed how I always feel kind of guilty if I don't study for a day. I really felt like I need to work every day, I need to make sure that I will not be behind on my work. And to be honest, it wasn't all smiles and rainbows in my first year. 
I remember I needed a lot of time to adjust to the education system. And even though the environment helps a lot, but having to finish two topics in one week, including the worksheets and also the two tutorial classes, they're all very, feel very intense. And I feel a lot of pressure as well from seeing everyone around me just working hard every single day going through cafes and see everyone there working, going through the study rooms in the college, just casually walking by, immediately feeling all the pressure to go back to my room and study or book a library slot and study with everyone. Also, to ease my stress, I got myself a new watch, a very pretty watch from Filippo Loretti. I was wearing the Asia Rose Dark Pearl and the good news is you guys can also get a 15% off with my discount code KZIA15. Go to the description down below to check the link. This is our college cat. Hi Walter. Walter, come here. Walter? Walter? <laughs> I always remind myself to take breaks every now and then because studying for exams can be very stressful and we don't want any stress Kasia so boba break time is a must here I was just walking around the covered market in the city center they have all the beautiful stores and everything it was so nice I always always come here to distress My second year exam started on the 17th of May and then it lasted until the 21st of May. So it consisted of four exams. It's gonna be on Monday, Tuesday, the Thursday, and then Friday. So I was really grateful that we had a break day in the middle of them. On Monday, I had A1, which is the eight topics about mathematics and statistics. On Tuesday, I had A2, which is eight topics about control theory, sensors, computer engineering, and so on. On Thursday, it's for A3, and it's the eight topics about structures, materials, and dynamics. And then on Friday, the last one was A4, and there are eight topics about fluids, thermodynamics, and additional ones from electronics. My friends gave me these flowers on my last day of my exams. They are so pretty. Such a pretty these are called carnations. They are given by our college kids and they have three different colors that we wear on top of our subfasc like that. Because today is the last day so it's gonna be red. And that's it for now. See you guys in the next one.